All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday here in downtown Hartford at the Connecticut Science Center, joined by Jace. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Doing well. So today we're making a, a what, a homemade lava lamp. Yeah, we're making a homemade lava lamp with some materials that you might already have at your house. So all we're going to be using today is vegetable oil, okay. some food coloring, some Alka-Seltzer tablets, and then a jar and water. And that's all you need to make an at-home lava lamp. So to begin, you're going to grab your jar and put about a third to a fourth of the container full of water. Okay. And then after that, we're going to add five to ten drops, drops of, food of our food coloring. So I'm going color to doesn't matter. Color. color does not matter. I would recommend something that's not a red or an orange because it can look a little muddled with your vegetable oil you're going to use. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why I'm using blue or things like blues, greens, purples. Those types of things will work well. There we go. We'll get some nice colored water. So you've got blue. I've got green. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this up to about three quarters full with vegetable oil. Do you need to like shake this around, um, distribute the food If coloring? you want to, it doesn't matter too much because okay. we're going to be making a chemical reaction today with this. So I'm going to add a bunch of vegetable oil in. Okay. So again, something folks can do at home with their kids. Exactly. With adult supervision, so you yes. know we're safe about that. So you want to go pour about to your three quarters full of that vegetable oil. Okay. And what we're going to start to see is the oil is actually going to sit on top of the water and make a different layer there. Okay. And that's because that oil is less dense than the water it's sitting on top of. Mm -hmm. So now we have our oil layer, our water layer. And the last thing we got to do is simply just add an Alka-Seltzer tablet in. Okay. And we're going to take a look at what happens. Now, do we drop this in whole? Yeah. Do we break it in half? Does it matter? I like to do it full. I think it gets the best reaction. But if you do want to do pieces at a time, that is another option. But well, given I like how I put... open the package, <laughs> mine will be in pieces. Yeah, if you just go ahead, drop the full thing in. And then our Alka-Seltzer is going to start to react in a second there. Slide together since yeah. can get a reaction here. So interesting. We're going to let that start to react. So our tablet's going to start to dissolve. So tell us about Alka-Seltzer. What is it? What does so it do? Alka-Seltzer is something we use kind of like as an antacid. And now when it goes into the water, it starts to dissolve and make a chemical reaction. And that releases carbon dioxide gas. And those are those little bubbles you see that float up from the water. But what's happening now is those bubbles are floating up. They're trapping that food coloring blob inside the bottle. And then they're going to start to float up. And when they hit that oil, the carbon dioxide now is less dense than the oil. So it can actually float all the way to the top. It pops. And then our food coloring blob is more dense than oil, and it falls back down. And that's how we see those kind of little color blobs starting to float back down and bob up and down in our oil. So once uh, a tab fully dissolves, you can just add another one and kind of rinse repeat. Exactly, yeah. You can do this as much as the tabs are in there. It will kind of, over time, start to slow down as our materials get used more and more. But once this is done reacting, we can even I'll go ahead and put a second tab in. All right, while well, you're you doing that, we'll let everyone know that, uh, of course, this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. Uh, honoring those who served, retired, or active, free yes. today. Yes, and families, other folks, will get in for a kid's price today. This is our last day for this deal, and we will also be closed tomorrow, Monday, for Memorial Day itself. All right, good deal. And as uh, we check these out, uh, we'll say thank you to Jace, and, uh, of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.